All right, guys, so um, right now we're going to do some headlight restoration. Thought I'd make a video on it. Also, just a little sneak peek here. I didn't record this, but uh, this side was just kind of looking shoddy, so I went over it, pressed it into those dents. Where you can, uh, right here, we're going to sand this whole thing down because I feel like it. But... Uh, <sighs> But yeah, so fill that hole in all the way now. Sand that down until it's smooth. And do that to the side. Anyway, so back to the actual thing we're doing here. So this is shout out to uh, Chris, Chris Fix here. He showed me this method. It works great. I, it's freaking awesome. Go check out his video if you want a uh, better tutorial. But um, yeah, it works great. So, these headlights really don't look that bad on camera, but they are, like, you, know, you can kind of see it when you get closer, but they are just really cruddy. Yeah, you can see it. But, um, yeah, so, if you can take your headlights off, that would be easier, but um, on this car, for instance, I'm just going to pop the hood and start coming there, so... Up the hood. Man, look at all that horsepower in this game. So now you got the hood open. Well, if you're doing it like me, if you just take the headlights off, this would be so much easier, but I don't want to take the headlights off, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Um so get you're gonna need sandpaper. Uh, if you watch Chris Fix's uh, video, he probably has the all the sizes you need, but uh, this is just what I'm going to be using. So, I've got 400 to start, then we're going to go to 800, then we're going to go to, no, we're not, we're not going to go to 3,000. We're going to go to 1,500, 2,500, and then that'll be enough, but just because I am OCD, we're just going to do 3,000. Uh, I'm just gonna rip these in half so I can do uh, one square for each headlight. Yeah, honestly, guys, I suggest getting this. The, this like bag of sandpaper here, it's like uh, what was it? One twenty to three thousand grit was like ten bucks. So, so just look it up on eBay. Automotive, uh, like you know, sandpaper. I think it's uh, wet and dry sandproof, so should work good for this. All right, guys, I just put the car in neutral and pushed it back. You know, another pro of these, having these small cars. So uh, if I was you guys, I'd use like a spray bottle or a hose, but uh, I'm doing this inside and I don't have a spray bottle. So, I'm just going to be dipping my sandpaper in this water, which, it does have soap in it. Uh, you don't need soap in it. I don't know why there was soap in this. They're just, this is like a car wash bucket, so there just was soap in it, apparently. Uh, okay, so, just get the surface super wet. Again, this would be much easier. If you freaking um, had a hose or something, but actually, you know what? We're missing a step. Uh, make sure you tape off around the headlight. I forgot because you don't want to sand it. I don't care because my paint's kind of crappy, but I know you guys probably don't want to scratch the paint up, so do that first. All right, guys, I got it taped up. Just uh, when you're doing the tape, just like tuck it under the edges and stuff, and that works pretty well. Just use like a flathead screwdriver. Um, then grab, well, you know, I'm starting at 400. Grab whatever grit you're going to start with. I'd say like 600 is like the highest you want to do for like the first one, but I don't know. Only done this one other time, so. Okay, so just get it all wet. Okay. And now just, it's as simple as just going back and forth now. 
you'll start to like immediately see uh, dirty water coming off of it. That's good, because that's all that yellow oxidized stuff coming off. And uh, when you let this dry after doing this, I know it looks pretty bad. It scared me when I did it the first time. But uh, just trust me, it comes back. It'll, it'll look super scratched and worse than it did before uh, after this one. But once you hit it with the other stuff, it'll be good. Before, I used to went up to 2,000. And that looked fine, so... Let me show you guys what I mean by like how it looks crappier. Alright guys, so this is what I mean by like it'll look crappier at first. That's just because it's scratched up from that 400 grit. So the rest of this I'm just going to do time lapse of going through all these uh, layers until I get to 3000. <laughs> paint's like super smooth um this will probably show on it it might this i would be more or i'd be more worried about the sandpaper though than this um this is just gonna make it shinier so like if it oversprays on it it'll probably look like little spots of glossy stuff um on this one i don't really care that much about it so i'm just gonna paint over it like this just didn't, you gotta go super light or else it looks weird. You'll see like an immediate difference when you put it on. Okay, uh, stop right there. <clears throat> and uh, what it's gonna do these first couple times is it's gonna do this. I don't know if you can see that it just it'll do that no matter what so just uh, more layers you do it'll cover it up and that'll go away but yeah so I mean like already though look at that compared to that <laughs> it, it just looks much better already <laughs> got a little water problem going on in here <laughs> 
Yeah, don't do this inside. Well, the reason I'm doing it inside is because it's literally three degrees out, so. Yeah, you know, I recommend if you guys are doing this, spray it on something first, because I think what happened is it was like all clogged up and I started spraying and that's why it looks like that. That'll, I still feel like, I think I trust this painting, it'll cover that up. You want it to look like this though. See that little, ooh, it's kind of like a lumpy. That's what you want, not, not that so much, but I think it can still get covered up. And this isn't gonna look like 100% brand new, but it'll look much better. Okay guys, that's after they're both done and waxed. Looking super good. So, okay guys, that's the end of this video. I'll, I will see you guys in the next video when we do the subframe. Bye.